Hello there, I am Kevin Coyle of Kairos International here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I'm so excited that you are joining us for what should be one of the greatest training ministries you've ever experienced. The Evangelism, Explosion, Discipleship Training Class. You know, I can remember back in the day in 1981 when I took this five-day clinic, how excited of a week it was for my wife and I. We were just so pumped for God, so full of the Holy Spirit. And it began one day when I was working for Texas Instruments as a mechanical engineer and I was homesick. And Amanda's Aunt Mary sent us this book. And I started reading it on the couch there and I said, this is pure gold. This is a words from heaven and I began to memorize parts of the book and then I found out this was a class and you could take the class and have an experienced trainer help you and we signed up and we went to that clinic in Dallas in 1981 and it so changed our lives and I'm going to ask my wife Amanda Coyle to come and to share with you how that was a life-changing week in her life. Yes, in 1981, Kevin and I decided we were going to learn how to evangelize. We went to the First Methodist Church in Dallas, Texas. Jim Engel was our trainer, and he taught us how to share our faith. We wound up joining that church. It was a great church full of the Holy Spirit, and we began to share our faith to the people of Dallas. Thank you, Amanda. That was beautiful. What a wonderful memory that was. Well, something has happened in the last year or two, two years, after teaching this for 40 years. I started training 10 and 13 year olds. My two granddaughters, two other boys, and I was shocked at how faithful they were, how well they did the homework, how they memorized the scriptures, and how they showed up for on-the-job training. And I was amazed at how the prospects we were speaking to would listen to the children. And I just got an idea. And I said, you know what? We need to train more young people. Do you know that we're losing 75% of our young people in the colleges? They're losing their faith to the world and Satan and sin. Why is that? I think it's because they were not trained how to be offensive ninja warriors, gospel guerrillas for God. And this is what this training does to people. It takes gospel mice and makes them into gospel guerrillas. And so, brothers and sisters, in the next 13 weeks, we're going to take you into a wonderful world of being able to clearly proclaim and share the message of Jesus Christ in a way that you're going to see soul saved, disciples made, maybe even churches planted. Maybe some of you are going to become deacons elders, directors in the church. Maybe some of you are going to be pastors. Maybe some of you are going to be missionaries. Come on, let's get on board here with the next 13 weeks and let's be committed and let's give our all to studying and working hard at doing one of the hardest things in the Christian life to share the gospel of Christ. Okay. I'm going to ask you to turn in your workbook to page number 10. Page 10, and we're going to explain more about materials, and we got all kinds of things to go through. We're probably going to be together here almost 90 minutes for this first lesson. And let's look at the top of page 10, and we are talking about equipping lay people. The magic word. Everybody say equipping. So important. Ephesians 4.11 says that we, the pastor's job is to equip the saints. And here is a bunch of people, ordinary people. They just need equipping. So the focus will be 
to effectively share the gospel with non-Christians. Goal number one. Number two, become a trainer of other soul winners. I'm on the top of page 10. Making disciples of new converts and build the EE ministry in your local church and participate in fulfilling the great commission of Jesus Christ worldwide. These are worthy goals, and I'm going to ask you to lean into them, study them, think about them. You want to be a soul winner. Do you know when I was uh, in college and I would read John 15, 16, which became a life verse where Jesus said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask of the Father, he will give to you. And I prayed to God, oh God, make me a fruitful Christian. And do you know what? I became fruitful, mostly because I learned the evangelism explosion, discipleship way of sharing the gospel with people. And I haven't ever deviated it, hardly ever. Well, maybe I shouldn't say ever. So let's look at the biblical principles of evangelism explosion. Uh, every Christian is to be a witness. Everybody say witness. Yes. You all know Acts 1.8. And you shall be my witnesses unto the end of the age. Lay people are the most strategic and unused key to world evangelism. The first instructions of Christ were, you will be fishers of men. The final instructions, you will be my witnesses. Lay people have many excuses why they do not witness. Let me tell you, I've heard them all. I don't know how. That, that is fixable, and that is not an attitude problem. And hopefully that's why you're here. You want to do it better. People say, it's not my gift. I witness by my life. It's the pastor's job to share the gospel. Here's the big one. Fear of failure and rejection. Now, I think everybody can say that. My first EE teacher, uh, Jim Engel, he said, he said, listen, when I share the gospel with people, I still get the butterflies. But after taking EE, now the butterflies fly, fly in formation. <laughs> Okay, other excuses. People have unconfessed sin. Or well, some people say, I don't have time. What a shame. I hope none of these are for you. And if they are, in the next 13 weeks, those things are going to get fixed. So it's the responsibility of the pastor to equip the saints for the work of service. And equipping is best done by on-the-job training. Jesus provided his disciples with OJT. Evangelism is more caught than taught, and OJT provides modeling where the experienced trainers train the inexperienced. This is one of the key things about Evangelism Explosion, is training, on-the-job training which utilizes the incremental learning process. You will just learn to speak some parts of the gospel one week, and then we're going to add more parts, and then more parts, and before you know it, you'll be preaching for 40 minutes nonstop. And especially the children, it just amazes me. It amazes other adults. Get your 10-year-old, your 15-year-old, call them on the phone now, stop the tape, Call them and say, you know what? you got to be in this training so that when you are in high school and in university and you have atheist professors and humanistic professors who are trying to turn you away from the faith, you'll be able to say, my feet are on solid ground, the gospel ground, the gospel light. And instead of listening to those guys, you're going to be preaching to those guys the real truth of the gospel. Okay, training soul winners is 
spiritual multiplication. Everybody say spiritual multiplication. You know, 2 Timothy says, and the things you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful and reliable, qualified to teach others. What we're looking for is in you is what we call a fat hat. F-A-T. You're faithful, available, and you're teachable. And when the 13 weeks are over, we want you to go out and find two more people. Then you can be their trainer. And we can do the Zoom by class, and then you are going to go out with two other people to train them. So you're going to make far greater impact for eternity by training soul winners than by just winning souls. What I just said to you will be on your final exam. Yep, final exam. It's 100 points, 100 questions, but you'll be able to do it with your eyes closed and your hands behind your back because you're going to come to class, you're going to do the homework, read the textbook, say the outline. Look, I hate to say it, but being a Christian is like it being a Marine in that you have to have a disciplined life. Self-discipline means you study. You study the scripture. You go to church, you pray, you witness, you fellowship. We, we have disciplines in the Christian life. And we're asking you to dedicate the next 13 weeks of your life to get serious about sharing the gospel with others. And then we're going to ask you to get serious about training to other people. Fruit of your life that they can share the gospel to. Remember, Jesus said that you are going to bear fruit. Some of us need to get busy. Okay, turn the page to page 11, and let's look at the evangelism explosion purpose statement. Everybody read this with me. To glorify God by equipping local churches worldwide to multiply through friendship, evangelism, discipleship, and healthy growth. So let's pull this apart, pick it apart, and um, let's see. The first statement is to glorify God. This is our chief end in life and ministry. Number one goal, equipping. Everybody say equipping. Training pastors. That's on your test, remember. And lay people so they can train others is accomplished through the leadership training clinics, which is five days for pastors, or for you, 13-week training course in the local churches. Okay, the next phrase is local churches. EE is an interdenominational ministry working primarily in local churches. In obedience to the Great Commission, Dr. James Kennedy founded EE in Fort Lauderdale, Florida in 1962. And the ministry is now in multiple nations. In fact, it's all over the world. And I had a great privilege of introducing Evangelical Explosion to China. And that was so exciting. And maybe I can share in the next few weeks how we did that, going to a lot of strange places, talking to a lot of strange people, sharing the gospel, which I've done in China quite a bit, thousands of times. And um, if you have 30 years, you get, you, get, you get a lot of practice. Okay, so worldwide, in obedience to the Great Commission, I just read that, multiply, active EE churches, trainers of soul winners, soul winners, and souls, one to Christ, will be multiplied. Multiply is an important word in the EE ministry. Friendship, EE equips believers to witness as a way of life to people in their network of relationships. EE's approach is primarily through personal evangelism. Yeah, I love that word, the euangelion, the good news, the angels proclaiming good news. Um, too often, friendship evangelism never gets beyond friendship to proclaiming the good news of eternal life. Listen, I hate to tell you, but there are missionaries on the field that hardly ever preach the gospel. You say you can't believe it? Well, you should be there. And it's a shame because they don't know how. 
They haven't been trained. They have a willingness. They want to. They know they should. But sometimes it just happens maybe by accident. And it's a shame more people need to be trained before they're sent. Discipleship. Evangelism must be followed by the biblical disciple making. A disciple is a spiritually mature, maturing, responsible, reproducing member of a local church. And the last thing is healthy growth. An EE church will experience three types of growth. Spiritual. Philemon number six teaches that Christians who are actively sharing their faith will grow spiritually. Numerically, as people commit their lives to Christ, the church will increase in numbers. And organizationally, EE trained people will be more effective leaders, elders, deacons, Sunday school teachers, small group leaders, and will raise up new leadership also. So a lot of the good things come out of EE. Let's go turn to page 12, Top Basics for Effective Local Church Evangelism. The role of the church is that the church needs to be a healthy body. Fill in the blanks now, B-O-D-Y, top of page 12, and a loving and united family. In the e-ministry, Unity will be enhanced as we concentrate on agreement, united around the Great Commission. That is really important. What makes missionaries cling together on the field? We're all there for the same reason. We want to preach Jesus. We want to see the Great Commission fulfilled. We want to see the nations come to, come to Jesus. In the EE ministry... Unity will be enhanced as we concentrate on agreement with um, the EE Statement of Faith and the principles found on page 5. If you flip over to page 5, you'll see the EE Statement of Faith. I don't think anybody's going to have a problem with that. Uh, it's basically the Apostles' Creed. And um, anyway, it's part of your homework. The witness, the role of witness. The witness needs to be saved, means of having a personal experience in God's saving grace. It's essential. And uh, he needs to be cleansed. Conducting a spiritual inventory is very important in life of the witness. Prayerfully search your heart. This is something new. You're beginning something new here. Maybe some of you are a little afraid of what's going to happen in the 13 weeks. Relax. We're going to get you through it. We're going to guide you. And um, it's going to be fun. And you are going to have a great sense of fulfillment. I love that word, fulfillment. You know, when I'm sharing the gospel with people, I am feeling fulfilled. And if I have two people with me, I'm even more fulfilled. You're touching your wife. In fact, higher than any other thing in life, when I'm sharing Jesus, I'm at the top of my game. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing. So, we are cleansed people. As your sins come to mind, write them on a piece of paper. Confess each sin and then write the words of 1 John 1, 9 across the paper. Tear up the paper. An ongoing life of confession of sin and the reality of Christ's forgiveness and cleansing will empty us of self-centeredness so that we can be spirit-filled. Keep on being filled with the Spirit, Ephesians 5.18 says. Evangelism is not a dialogue but a trialogue involving a witness, a prospect, and, a, and the Holy Spirit. Only as a spirit is at work in our lives will we be committed. Big word. Everybody say committed. committed. You know, Paul said, Romans 1, 14 to 16, I am a debtor to the Gentiles to preach the gospel to them. And then he said, I am I am a debtor. I am not ashamed, right? I'm 
not ashamed. I am committed. Um, the commitment that each participant is to make is found on page 23. Let's go over to page 23, everybody. And uh, the training commit commitment. Let's read this together. Winning lost people and equipping other believers to do the same is the most eternally significant activity in the world. Such a strategic ministry requires a great commitment on your part. The Lord Jesus said that those who intend to build a tower will first count the cost to be certain that they can complete the building. Now is the time to count the cost of this training ministry. You are committing yourself to 13 weeks of the most exciting training that you will ever experience, but it does take work. Some people are afraid of that four-letter word, work. But you know, we're going to assign you a team, and, and you just can't be quitting in the fourth week, in the fifth week. It's not fair. Um, and so count the cost. Let's look at the rest of the card. Because sharing the gospel and equipping others to do the same is the great commission to the church, please prayerfully make this commitment as unto the Lord as you seek to follow him. I am making a commitment to the EE ministry because I desire to be obedient to the great commission. Check the box. I will attend all of the weekly set training sessions unless providentially hindered. If I know in advance that I will be absent, I will contact my trainer or training as soon as possible. I will faithfully work to complete the homework assignments each week. And finally, at the end of the training semester, I will seek to enlist two other people so that I can train them also. All right. Remember, we're looking for a fat hat, and I hope that is you, faithful, available, and teachable. You might want to scribble that down on your page 23, and you're going to hand this in to me next week. Take a picture of it, send it to me, that I can see that you have signed that. While we're at it, look at page 24. This is, um, we're going to give you, uh, when you graduate, after 13 weeks from now, you're going to get this little certificate that says John Smith on it. But it's going to be your name. It's a beautiful certificate, full color. And also we want to give you the EE pin with the two question marks representing our two wonderful questions that we use in the introduction. Yes, um. Okay, so please fill out the complete information there and send that to me also. And we've finished your registration. Okay, so now we are on... We are on page 12. We are committed, and next is prayerful. Prayer always undergirded New Testament evangelism. EE participants are asked to enlist two prayer partners and to be faithful in praying with them each week. Now, in your packet, in your packet are lots of books. Don't worry, don't be confused. We'll get you through all of the books. But this is the Partners in Praying, the purple book. And this is what we give to people to tell them what kind of things that we are going to be asking you to pray for. And we're going to give you instructions on when to get with them and things like that. But they're going to make a little prayer covenant with you and they're going to sign that and they're going to tear it off and they're going to give it to you and you're going to be faithful to get with your prayer partners every week. We'll, get, we'll discuss these other books pretty soon. Okay, and the last thing we do is um, we are relational. And this theme is fully developed in Unit 2. And we're going to talk about in Unit 2 being a, uh, the introduction um, the casual introduction of how we get to make friends with people. Oh. And we are all about making friends and being related to people. It doesn't take you six months or six years to make a friend so you can share the gospel with them. It takes six minutes, and we're going to tell you how. Okay, let's turn the page to number 13, and let's look at the EE ingredients. The gospel presentation. This presentation can be likened unto a human body where the outline is like a skeleton. 
and the scriptures are like the muscle, and the testimony and illustrations are like the skin and personal features. And the Holy Spirit, who is at work through the gospel, is the breath. The gospel presentation is not canned or rigid. The presentation should be adapted to each prospect's needs and situation. That is something I just don't understand. Some people just, just use that word, you have a canned gospel. Well, listen, there is only one gospel. It comes in a Bible. That's not a can. And the Bible message of Jesus loving us and dying on the cross for us is not canned. It's a life-giving message. And we share that in many different ways. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, God help us all. The weekly preparation. In each unit, Participants are given assignments. These assignments are to be completed prior to arriving at the weekly session. Classroom sessions in EE are designed to be one hour long. Here are some of the features of the classroom discussion. Now, for you who are Zooming, this is uh, when we start the class, you're going to pause me and you're going to sing and pray and review your homework and take pictures of your homework and send it to me so I can see that you're doing the homework. And then we will give you the lecture. Um, and then we'll present the lecture and then we'll do demonstrations of the portions of the gospel so you can copy us. Mm. Okay, then the big thing is the on-the-job training. So during the 13 weeks training, each EE participant is assigned to a person visitation team. The team is led by a trainer who provides personal example, encouragement, and guidance. Now for you who are Zooming, the senior person is your trainer. And we're asking you to do 10 on-the-job trainings in the next 13 weeks. So you can go out to the mall, go out to the park, you can not knock on your neighbor's door, you can invite people to your home, but you want to engage in 10 on-the-job trainings. So beginning in the first week, the teams go out into the community for on-the-job training. EE teams are led to divine appointments through visiting in the homes of church visitors, doing questionnaires in a variety of locations. And this is a questionnaire, assurance questionnaire form. <clears throat> you go up to the person and you just read it. I am Kevin of the Go Church here in Virginia Beach. And I'd like to ask you a couple questions. We're trying to determine people's religious thinking and assist anyone looking for our faith. Will you help us by doing, giving your thoughts in response to five brief questions? Then you just go down the list here and you fill out the form and you say thank you very much. And can I share with you a little bit more about what we think about eternal life? <clears throat> very simple. And then finally, we're talking about certification, bottom of page 13. EE International provides a certification process which assists local churches in maintaining high-quality EE ministries. Components of the process will be highlighted throughout the training. I already told you one of the parts is the final exam and the final oral exam. So no one fails EE. It's just a matter of how long it takes you to complete the assignments. And hopefully, I'm hoping that you're going to do all the homeworks on time in each week because you are committed. All right. Top of page 14. <clears throat> and I'm going to introduce you to the Visual Advanced Organizer. You see this church building up here on the top? The people go out of the church and they engage people in the first five blocks on the right from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock on that clock is the five parts of the introduction that we build a bridge of friendship. After that, we are going to give five parts of the gospel which are, which build an understanding of what the gospel is. Next, we're going to ask for commitment and the five blocks on the bottom left from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock 
are the five things we do to, and ask the people to do to, to build the bridge of commitment. <clears throat> and then the last five blocks we call the immediate follow-up. And I'll tell you that in a minute. But let's go back to the first five blocks on the right from 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, is we're going to talk to the pre people about their secular life. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to them about their religious background. Their church background. Then we're going to talk about our religious background. And then we're going to give them a personal testimony. <clears throat> and then we're going to ask them two diagnostic questions, which are, have you come to the place in your spiritual life where you know for certain if you were to die tonight, you'd go to heaven, or is that something you're still working on? Suppose and the, you were the second God. question is, suppose you were to die tonight and stand before God, and he said okay. to you, why, why you should I let you into my heaven? What would you right. say? <clears throat> And after we get their answers, we are ready to move into the gospel. The heaven-wrapped cloud is grace. Heaven is a free gift. It's not earned or deserved. Number two, man is a sinner, and he cannot save himself. Any more than that man who's drowning and his heart is filled with sin. Number three is God. He is merciful and loving and kind, but he will punish us for our sins. And number four is that Jesus Christ is the infinite God-man, and he came to die on the cross and to purchase for us a place in heaven, which he now offers as a gift. And finally, the last part of the gospel is faith. Faith is not intellectual assent, and it's not temporal faith. But what it is, is trusting in Jesus Christ alone for our salvation. Now we're going to move into the commitment part of the gospel. That traffic light there is the qualifying question. Does this make yes, sense to you? The second one with the man reaching out for the gift of eternal life is the commitment question. Would you like to receive the gift of eternal life? I love that question. Most people are going to say yes. And then third, I'm going to clarify what it means to become a Christian or to receive God's gift of eternal life. And the fourth thing is pray with them, pray for them, to receive the gospel. And then finally, we give them the assurance verse of John 6, 47. Truly I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. So now they are standing on the word of God and the gift of eternal life is in their heart. <clears throat> oh, that's so exciting for me to tell you about this. This is a tremendous process. And finally, we're going to give them a little red booklet <clears throat> called the Welcome to the Forever Family. And it's going to tell them about the Bible. We're going to have a seven-day callback. We're going to tell them about prayer. We're going to tell them about worship. We're going to tell them about fellowship. And we're going to tell them about witnessing. And hopefully, we're all going to go into that church house at the top of the process, the system. All right. <clears throat> so, um, we have a um, gospel presentation given by different people and we have a disc here that's in your welcome packet <clears throat> and this is the entire outline all the scriptures all the illustrations and this is the path that we run on and if you lose this or you don't have this you can go on youtube and i think i've got that here uh, there's a textbook by dr kennedy and anyway, you can go on YouTube to get the whole presentation. Just type in Evangelical Explosion Gospel Presentation, and then you can practice that. You can watch how other people are doing that. And I want you to do that once a week. Listen to the whole presentation. The one on YouTube I was listening to last night, just 22 minutes of three people sitting around on a couch talking to a woman who doesn't know anything about eternal life. And that's what we do. All right, so... Here's a textbook by Dr. Kennedy that comes in your kit. You know, your kit's like $50, and I know that's a lot of money there, but it is a great investment for you to do that. If you are in the same family or you're not too far, you, know, you have to figure it out of how you're going to swap books between yourself if you're only going to get one book for the whole family. But everybody needs to have their own workbook. And that's the book that you write the answers in as the teacher goes down through the lesson with you. 
So you have your workbook. And then the next thing we do is we have our gospel tracks, which are uh, this green booklet called Do You Know For Sure That You Have The Gift Of Eternal Life? And so this track is just like the whole gospel presentation, which we memorize and deliver to people. And we don't give these gospel tracks out as a crutch in place of an oral presentation. We give this to supplement our oral presentation. Okay, on your screen you can see the YouTube uh, link for um, one of the many EE Gospel presentations. Okay, um, let's look at um, page 14, training notebook. At the top, this provides participants with a comprehensive process designed to assist you in mastering the EE presentation. In the coming weeks, you will be exposed to its various components, lecture notes, homework assignments, gospel outlines, study guide questions, learning cards, and, and the EE Do You Know For Sure track I just told you about. Um, and then there are other supplemental materials which we will introduce as we go along. Okay, Lord, give me a vision for Evangelism Explosion. Give me a vision of how I can be a gospel warrior, a trainer of other soul winners, a soul winner, how I can be a catalyst in my church, how I can impact this world. What can I do? You can certainly do a lot. And with this training in under your belt, you're going to be awesome. I have seen church mice, people who just sit in the back row, don't say very much, shy, just explode. You know, in China, we had a gal named Xing Xing who uh, we trained her in Evangelism Explosion about six years ago. And I get a phone call from her husband, Kevin, this is Brother Wu. You got to come see me and I, I want you to come to my church and teach Evangelism Explosion because my wife has just, everywhere she goes, she's sharing the gospel. She used to be so quiet keeping her faith to herself, and now she's just been transformed. I said, well, Pastor Wu, um, I'm not going to come to your church. You're going to come to my EE clinic, and you're going to bring about 10 other pastors with you, and I'm going to train all of you how to do this so that you all can train other people like Xing Xing to be a gospel warrior. And he did. He came and he put together a whole clinic for me in Beijing, China about six years ago. It was a wonderful time. And um, I'm promising you transformation to you church mice. Be ready to become a gospel gorilla. Now, gospel gorillas do homework. So turn to page number 17. <clears throat> And let's go to the top, and I'm going to walk you through this. I'm not going to do this every week for you, but, you know, read the textbook. That's the first thing you do. Read the textbook. That's uh, Roman numeral 11 to 16, 1 to 30 in the text, and 60 to 64. Answer the study guide questions. Now, when you do that and you're done, check off that little box so your teacher trainer can see that you've been doing your homework. Number two, answer the study guide questions in the training notebook, page 22. So let's turn over to page 22. And we're almost done, gang. Um, 22, look at the top. Blank are the most strategic and unused key to world evangelism. And if the people said, it's the lay people. Very good. And number two, Jesus Christ did not give specific instructions that every Christian was to be a witness false. I know you got that one right. I know you got that one right. According to Acts 8, 1 to 4, the ones who were scattered abroad, preaching everywhere, were the apostles. And you said, right, false. Okay, you got it. So 
go through these study guide questions. It's kind of fun to answer the questions before you read the text, um, and it's going to prepare you to catch the truth of what's in the text, and it's kind of fun to see if you got the answers right. All right. Um, okay, back to page 17. Listen to the gospel presentation, either by YouTube or the disc that came in your kit. Memorize card number one in your little learning cards kit. See the little spiral thing here? So it says, look, card number one, and there is card number one, which is your outline, which is the same as what's on page 18. So <clears throat> next week, when you come to class, <clears throat> your trainer or your partner is going to hold your book and you're going to look them in the eye with no notes and you're going to say the following gospel outline introduction i'm on page 18 gospel grace heaven is a free gift oh check it is not earned or deserved check you're doing so good man is a sinner oh you got it you're going to check it and cannot save himself. So you're going to go through the whole thing, and the person is checking you to make sure you did it. Now, I'm going to challenge you a little bit, and I want you to turn all the way to the back of your training notebook. <clears throat> Say page 122. On page 122 is the final wrap-up and next steps. Now, you see how your outline has grown from 18 to page 122. I know for some of you, it is overwhelming. But you have 13 weeks, and we are going to guide you, and we're going to help you. And I'm only a phone call away, a text away, of have, if you're having any trouble. So I'm showing you page 122 so you can have a vision. And you can be like my 10- and 13-year-olds who can preach for 45 minutes without stopping, without getting lost, a clear, concise presentation of the gospel and you will be very proud that you have worked so hard and committed 13 weeks, 30 minutes, every other day, you should be able to get your homework done. Okay, back to page 17. Um, the fifth thing, read the training notebook, TN page 2 to 8. That's your workbook that you have. Read that. We already went through the uh, EE Covenant on page 23 and your name and address and things on page 24. <clears throat> Please send that to me before next class session next week. And recite Unit 2 Gospel Outlines to someone prior to the class. That's on page 18. And then read the Partners in Praying booklet. That's this one. The Partners in Praying booklet and enlist your first prayer partner. So ask somebody this week, hey, i just taken this new class. I'm a little nervous. I need a little help. And we've got a lot of things going on here, and I need some prayer support. Can you be that for me? And I think here at the end, they have a little covenant that they're going to say, yes, I will pray for you for the next 13 weeks. Have them tear it out and give that to them. And what you're going to do is the best prayer people that do this are people in your church. <clears throat> and you tell them as soon as Sunday's sermon is done, the preacher says amen, everybody rises and they leave, go find your prayer partner. Get in a corner of the church. Tell them this is only going to take 10 minutes. You're going to give them a 90-second briefing of what things are happening with you and them, and then you're going to sit down and pray with them. Easy peasy, Japanese, we say. Okay. Assignment report, um, put your name and address down there. Uh, and then I want you to check on OJT this week. Did you watch your trainer present the introduction or the gospel or the commitment or the immediate follow-up? Check that off. And look at the block on the right, daily study time. <clears throat> I'd like to know how much time you're putting in and how much effort you're doing for um, the EE homework. So on Sunday you might have 15 minutes, on Monday you might have a whole hour, you might have skipped Tuesday and Wednesday, and on Thursday you're going to do 30 minutes again, and hopefully you're going to total up to three and a half hours for the week. 
Okay. And the report back session. Before leaving for home, at the bottom of the page, be sure to turn in this page 18. Just take a picture of it and send it to me. The Evangelical Exclusion Covenant and Diploma Pin Request Form, page 24. All right. Well, are you excited? Yes. You are on the way. You just finished 1 13th of the EE curriculum. And so let's give thanks to God and let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for these who have signed up to willingly give themselves 13 weeks of concentrating on their ability to share Jesus, to improve their evangelism skills. And I pray for these that have signed up and are listening to me in this video, that you would fill them with the Holy Spirit and with power to be able to clearly present the gospel. I bless them with energy, enthusiasm to do the studying and give them an open mind, open heart. And Lord, may they be faithful, available, teachable till the end day when they hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. All right. Bless the Lord, friends. I will see you for lesson two uh, next week. Have a good week.